Welcome back to Living Local on this Tasty Tuesday. We're out and about for our QC Local Eats series, where we take you to local restaurants for a look at the cuisine and culture that they bring to the Quad Cities. Today, we're here at Ruby's in Davenport. We're joined by Ruby's owner, Chris Torres. Thanks so much for letting us stop by, Chris. Yeah, thank you. So tell us, how did Ruby's come to be? So Ruby's was kind of a concept thought up by three guys. Um, one, Ruben, partner Sid, and me as well. Um, each one with a different part. Ruben had this vision of always wanting to own a bar and restaurant. Um, he was called Ruby's because as a kid, he was always called Ruby by his grandmother. So that's kind of how it started there. And then we just kind of started developing a concept and trying to create what would be the best for this area. So Chris, can you describe the unique concept here at Ruby's? Ruby's Beers, Bikes and Brats. I mean, that almost sums it all up, but we're a full service bicycle repair shop. We sell Rocky Mountain and Felt bicycles. We have 32 tap handles and a full menu. Wow, well, I absolutely love the concept here. And tell us a little bit about how your location plays into the unique concept here. Well, given that we're right off the bike path directly from the arsenal, um, it, it just works really great for all the bikers and anybody passing by and able to stop and get their bike worked on or whatever is need and done or quick meal. Yeah, it's definitely a popular stop for cyclists in our area. What exactly does your bike shop offer? So bike shop, full service. You can come in, get your bike repaired. If you're looking to get a new bike or upgrade, we can take care of that as well. Awesome, so repairs or buy an entirely new bike here at Ruby's. Okay, now let's talk about the food. I know that you guys specialize in brats. What makes them unique? Our brats are unique because we make our own seasoning in-house. Um, we, we lay out a feature of different brats. Um, we also offer it in other ways as versus like a brat burger, beef, chicken, camel, black bean. Oh, so many options here. What else do you guys offer on the menu? So on the menu, there's also burgers, chicken, black bean, plant-based burgers, and camel. Oh my, I don't know a lot of places that serve camel, so you can find that here right at Ruby's. How would you describe the atmosphere here? Atmosphere here is very laid back kind of chillax, just uh, overall really good setting. Right, definitely very casual, very comforting and welcoming. Let's talk about beer. I know you have a lot of great stuff on tap. We have 32 tap handles. Um, we keep about 10 that are staples in-house and then we rotate the other 22. Wow, awesome, so so many options here. What do you enjoy the most about owning Ruby's? Probably the guest. Um, and then being able to have my own creativity with the food and uh, expand and kind of play around and do some cool stuff. Now, I know, Chris, it is a little cooler right now because we're in winter, but when the weather warms up, what else do you offer here at Ruby's? So we'll have bag tournaments, bag leagues. We have a full volleyball court, so we run volleyball teams as well. Fantastic. So how can people get involved in that if they're interested? Um, just come down to the restaurant, see us, um, call us. Well, we know that Ruby's is not just brats, beer, and bikes. You guys also make delicious burgers, as you mentioned before. And today we are going to be learning how to make the Elote Camel Burger. So let's get started. All right, Chris, it's time to make the Elote Camel Burger. First of all, what is unique about camel meat? Camel meat is very unique because it's high in protein, very lean. Um, Australia is the number one producer of camel right now. Um, kind of cool because you can almost directly source exactly where camel is coming from into the United States versus all the other um, proteins that we're using from all over the world. So Chris, if someone has never had a camel burger before, how would you describe the taste? What is it like? Very similar to like bison or veal. I like think if you had some very lean sirloin that was ground up into a burger, that would be camel. Fantastic. So we're making the camel burger in the pan right now. So how do you put the burger together? So after it's done, we're going to take and we'll temp it. Make sure it's hitting the right temp. And we're there. Perfect. Cook to perfection. We're going to bring it over. Put it on. Okay, put it there on the bun. Nice toasted bun. We have our roasted sweet corn. Ooh, roasted sweet corn. Cannot go wrong with that. Katia cheese. We come over with a garlic aioli. Oh my goodness. 
A little now, cilantro garnish. Right, fresh cilantro there. And that is the Elote Camel Burger. There it is. Looks delicious. Now, let's go through what else we've got going on here. So you brought a couple different beverages. Can you walk us through what each of these are? Yeah, so here we have a breakfast stout from Founders. Mm -hmm. And there you have the Dragon Fandango from Toppling Goliath. Mm, and that's out of Decorah, Iowa, isn't it? Yeah, special release. They have not started distributing outside the brewery. Mm -hmm. So kind of nice, kind of nice to have one on, have that on tap. Yeah, definitely. Okay, and then it looks like we have a side dish over here. What is this? So here there is our handmade signature ball bearings. There it's ground sausage, jalapeno, cream cheese, our uh, house made brat seasoning, all brought together, a little beer in there, um, and then they're hand bread and it's marvelous. Oh my, okay, well I'm gonna have to try one of these because this looks so good. All right, get some cheese in there. Oh my gosh. Absolutely amazing, Chris. Thank you so much for letting us stop by. Thank you. That wraps up another segment of QC Local Eats. Ruby's is located at 429 East 3rd Street in Davenport. More Living Local continues after this. Stay with us. This portion of Living Local is brought to you by Performance Food Service.